Hi, this is Carrie, and no, I'm Carrie. <laughs> I'm Carrie, and this is Makeup Face. And today we're going to talk about my five favorite lipsticks. Um, so, well, I guess we'll just get right into it. I've broken them up. I've gone through all of my lipsticks, and I trust me, I have a lot of lipsticks. Um, and I have picked out my five favorite based on finish. So, uh, a bright, a neutral, or like a bright, a nude, a shimmer, um, a matte, and what I'm calling a balm lipstick. Very fancy. Okay, so the first, my first favorite is Bobbi Brown. I think Bobbi Brown makes a great lipstick. Um, I love her lip gloss, as I just discussed in my in my favorite lip gloss videos. Um, video, one video. Uh, this one in particular is my favorite bright. It's Sweet Nectar. You can see, I will swatch it on my hand. Um, I started wearing this Mm, earlier this summer, um, you can see it's a it's a nice bright. They have a bright color. They got great color payoff. Of course, Bobby Brown always does really great color payoff. Um, this one is like I said, sweet nectar. I think Bobby Brown's lipsticks are some of the best in the business. They're very like you can. Um, they last for a long time. Excuse my dog. She barks at everything. Um, the next is my Nude, and this is a MAC lipstick. Of course, MAC makes great lipsticks. Like, it... Mm. Okay, I don't know if I need to say too much about how great MAC lipsticks are, but for my favorite nude or natural color lipstick is this one. This is Hug Me. It's a, sh like, a satin finish. Seriously, dog, it's going to drive me bonkers. So this one is Hug Me, and it looks really neutral. It's a good, like, it, sometimes if I just want a little bit of color and not to have, like, a balm, like a, like a chapstick, um, or my favorite Blistex balm, I will wear this one. It's very moisturizing. The color is awesome. It's, it's very, um, I, I enjoy it. And it's not overwhelming. I can wear it with a real smoky eye, or if I'm going a little bit more ne uh, neutral, natural, less defined on the eye, I can wear it with that and it doesn't look weird one way or the other. So, neutral. Uh, for a shimmer lipstick, I have chosen the Clinique um, Butter Shine Lipstick in Water Violet. This, I don't feel is particularly violet, but I, I guess it has a little bit of a purple to it. I love the Butter Shine formula. Um, I like the packaging. It kind of looks like bamboo, which I don't have a huge bamboo thing, but I think this is a beautiful tube of lipstick. Um, here's the color that I like that I have is uh, Water Violet. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of shimmery. It's pretty neutral. I like this particular color because I can wear it over other colors um, as, as kind of a highlight in the middle of my lip or by itself if I just do like a once over um, a one coat thing, it can it kind of gives a glossy look. A little bit of shimmer, a little bit of color, not too much, and it doesn't. Um, these last pretty long too, actually. Um, yeah, so that's the Butter Shine lipstick. Really beautiful. Lots of colors in this line too. Uh, for a matte look, I've got a drugstore. This is I will hold this up. This is the uh, Maybelline Color Sensation Matte. And I have it in Touch of Spice. And this one has a great color payoff. It's so soft. It's a really creamy color. They've got maybe a dozen colors in this line. I like this one because it's pretty close to my natural lip color. It actually, mm, it gives it a nice, deep, little bit deeper, but without veering into red or a brick color um, for me. And I am going to try more and more matte colors throughout the year or throughout like as the weather gets colder. I feel like summer is glossy, right? You've got gloss and sparkle and it's hot and I don't know. And then when it gets into cooler you want to kind of dial that down a little bit. So now I'm dialing it down with a matte and a matte neutral at that. So if you see these in at Target or in your drugstore, I would recommend it. It's they're beautiful and really comfortable to wear. A lot of matte lipsticks can be drying and uncomfortable and eh, this is not, that is not this. And actually sometimes I feel like the Maybelline 
mess or May Maybelline um, lipsticks have a weird smell, but these, yeah, maybe a little bit, but not it's not off putting. That's a good one. Um, and then for the balm lipstick, I am choosing uh, the Clinique Chubby Stick. This one is in Graped Up, which uh, you're going to sense a theme. This is kind of like my natural lip color, but a little bit better. I love lip colors that are that, right? My lips, but better. Um, as you can tell, I have a lot of those, right? One, two, three, four, pretty much. My lips, but better. Um, and I think, anyway, my point here, and I do have one, is that the Clinique Chubby Stick is a really great neutral, or not neutral, it's a really great balm lipstick. You get some good color payoff with a really comfortable formula. Um, so I recommend it. If you haven't tried it, you should go out and try it. And that's it for my flash review, my flash five. Maybe that's what I'll call these, flash fives. I might have a different connotation online. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Anyway, thank you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you like these flash reviews. Um, I, I want to know your opinion. So thank you very much, and uh, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.